Welcome Scratchers! Today we're doing a quick tip about how to clone sprites. Many times in our games we need a lot of sprites and the best way to do that is with clones. These are the three blocks that you'll need when creating a clone. This starting block when I start as a clone, all the code underneath that will tell your sprite what to do when he starts as a clone. I'm on this yellow axolotl right now. All this underneath here tells him what to do when he starts as a clone. If I just click create clone of myself, that will make this yellow axolotl create a clone of himself. Inside the code here it changes the color. It's why he's blue. And I can just click that as many times as I want. Inside my program, the egg code says whenever I click the egg, that's what creates the clone. It's going to create a clone of whatever type I have selected. Let's start with something simpler. So we just have some basic code to make this axolotl do something. But instead of creating one when the green flag is clicked, we want to do clones. Clones are under the control blocks. And when I start as a clone, I want to do all this. Just drag the code from when green flag clicked over to when I start as a clone. And the way you start a clone is by creating a clone. Since the code is in with this purple axolotl, it's going to be a clone of himself. If we wanted it to be in another sprite, we wouldn't have this egg, axolotl egg create a clone of himself, he's going to create a clone of the purple axolotl. And there he created a clone. I can click create another clone. Just create as many as I want. When you get done with a clone, you'll want to use the block delete this clone. But in this case, I'm not done with the axolotl, so I'm not going to delete them. We can just keep creating more. Let's look at some other examples. In my full axolotl game, you'll see that these axolotls have a lot of code when they start as a clone. And the regular sprite stays hidden the whole time. The clones are created in the code for the egg. Because when I click on the egg, I want it to create a clone of the type of axolotl that you've selected. In my pizza clicker game, every time you click, a tiny pizza clone flies out. And that's in this code when I start as a clone. You can watch the full video for how to create this pizza clicker game, but creating the clone is hidden in this dough code. If the mouse is down, it creates a clone of tiny pizza right here. One more example is my breakout game. All of these bricks are drawn by this one sprite. They're all clones. When he starts as a clone, then he has all the code that he needs to be a clone. When he gets hit by the ball, he's going to disappear and delete this clone. Right here you'll see I have the code for delete the clone because once it gets hit by the ball, it's not needed anymore. Even though there's not an infinite number of blocks that need to be created, I still thought it was best to use clone for this. So the way I did that, six times, because I'm going to need six rows, I did a repeat loop, and then 16 across. So it creates a clone, creates a clone, creates a clone 16 times, and then it goes to the next one, does that 16 times, goes to the next one, and it does that six times. So it's just a loop inside a loop, 
and inside there it creates a clone of myself because there's so many blocks that need to be created. In my tic-tac-toe game, I could have used clones for this. There's three across and three down, so there's nine clones here of where the X's and O's can go. And I've seen other programmers use clones to do that. But I thought the best way to do that was to just have nine sprites. So I didn't use clones to make the tic-tac-toe game. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe below. Whenever you have to create a lot of characters, remember to use these three coding blocks to clone your sprite. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.